Welcome everyone to this demo video about the Street View feature of Google Earth. Right now I'm on the main page of the Google Earth website. Um, there's a number of Google Earth versions that all have the Street View feature. Let me show you a little bit about those. I'm going to click on this Earth versions tab here. There's a Google Earth on web. That's the website I'm at now. And this is what I'm going to use to demonstrate the Street View feature today. Uh, there's also apps that you can get on your phone, your mobile devices, uh, on, that are Google Earth apps. There's also the Google Maps app that you can get on your mobile devices and also on your computer. Then there's the Google Earth Pro version. It's a more sophisticated program. It is available as a desktop application that you can download to your PC or to your laptop. All of these have the Street View feature and all are free to use. So let's go back to the website main page and let's open it up. I do that by clicking Launch Earth. Uh, the Street View feature is an excellent way to view places that you can't be at in person at a Street View level. You can see buildings, houses, neighborhoods, roads, country fields, bridges. Many of those features in many, many communities all across the world. I've never been able to uh, see the ancestral villages of mine in uh, Europe. But I can on Google Earth Street View. So I'm going to demonstrate that by going to two villages in England. I go over here to the search icon in the upper left hand corner. Open the search page. You can type in a location here or we can or have bookmarked the village of Harleton, Cambridgeshire, England. And so we're going to fly over there. It gives me a, an information window and I can get information on this village. I have found out that this village now has a population about 300 people today. Uh, in the 1600s, when uh, my ancestors started living there, it only had about 75 people. Historically, it dates as far back as the year 1086. I can click off this window by Xing it out right there. Give me an unmolested view of the whole village from the view from the sky. Now I can uh, use the icons for uh, not the icons, but the buttons for zooming in and zooming out here at the bottom, the plus and minus. We'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, or you can use your roller on the mouse, or you can use your fingers on a touch screen. Right here is the little man icon here in the lower right hand corner called Pig Man. This is how we turn on Street View. I'll click him on. And you see highlighted the roads and the streets that you can uh, do a Street View tour on. If I click on the Pig Man icon and drag him over to a certain location, I blue highlighted street, let go, well, I can get down on the street view level. So here I am in a neighborhood. This is High Street in Harleton. Almost every village I've looked at in England has a street called High Street. I have found that that's usually the main street of the town. You can do a 360 degree view and look what I see here. Here is the local pub. Using the zoom button, I can go in and look at it a little closer. It's called the Hare and the Hounds. I can move around and see the other end of the street. Down the street, I can see another interesting house with a thatch roof. Clicking on the arrows. Can go back and forward down the street. 
go back up the street. Those are the kind of things you can do with the street view feature. To go out of street view, I click on the peg man again. And he will fly up and give me a sky view of the, the village. I'm going to go over here to the other part of the village where the Parish Church is, the Church of St. Mary over here. I'm going to zoom down in a little bit closer and bring it here in the middle. Do Street View again. And we notice this time something interesting. There are blue dots in the, on this building. This means that there's a tour inside the building that you can do. This isn't available in all buildings, just in certain uh, selected ones, usually famous buildings. So let's go in and look at this one. I click on one of the blue dots, and the little peg man will go down with his camera and get down on the ground level. And here we can see the church. Famous church built in the 1300s. And we can tour inside by clicking on the arrows. Go through the entranceway. Go into the middle of the chapel. Here. You can do a 360 degree view of the inside of the building. You can even look up and see the organ out there. And I can see the ceiling. This object right here, strange looking object, I think is a heater. It's probably how they heat the building. It's probably very cold. And probably the only way they can heat it is through portable heaters. You can look around and see uh, other views of the interior. You can even go down the aisle way through the chapel. You can see the pulpit over there on the left. You can go into another room. This room has a either a sacrament table or an altar, probably a sacrament table. You can look at the walls. Zoom in and see what's on the wall. Some of the rectors of the, the uh, church. So those are the kind of features you can do when inside a building. Let's go out of uh, street view. Click on the peg man. Go up in the sky. Now we'll go over to another village. I go over to the search icon on the left. This time I'm going to type in the town of... Dry Drayton. Dry Drayton is another village that my ancestors lived in a little later on. It's also in Cambridgeshire. I click it on to search. We'll fly over to the village of Dry Drayton, which is only six miles away. Uh, there's the information window. I'm going to click it off. And then it usually centers right over the village. Okay. Go down a little bit. I can see there's a church. We'll look at that in a moment. But first, let's click on Pegman again to get the street view feature up. Well, I can see there's a number of uh, streets in this little village that I can tour. It's a little bit bigger than Harleton. Uh, this time I'm going to drag the Pegman down here onto High Street again, right about there. He'll fly down and we'll see what's down there. Go you know, down the street. Google does their street view pictures about every few years. So they could be three or four years old. Uh, here on the left is a house that really caught my interest it's when I first went down this street looking. It's an older home. And I noticed when I turned around and looked at it, it had a plaque on it. So I wanted to zoom in here and see what that plaque says. And lo and behold, I was really surprised. It says, Viper's Farmhouse. That's the house of my fourth great-grandparents, William Viper and his wife, Eleanor Taylor. A house built in the 1700s, at least. And I was amazed that it's still there and that I could view it on Google Earth. It's very pleased. I can take a photo of this. One of the simplest ways is simply do a, a, a snippet of it using the snippet tool. Um, <clears throat> if you're in Google Earth Pro, there's a save image feature. That's very helpful. Um, 
Other ways are a little more complicated in Google Earth and Google Maps, so I won't go into those. Let's go back up in the air again, clicking on the peg man, get back up in the village, over the village, and this time let's go over here to the parish church, the church of St. Paul and St. Peter, or St. Peter and St. Paul. This one, if I did, uh, I'm going to go back out a moment here so you can see that icon there, landmark icon right there. If I did um, street view in this case, there won't be any blue dots. I can't get a tour on the inside of the church. But it, since it has a landmark here, I click on it. And you'll see over here in the information window a picture of the church. If I click on that picture, I can get an expanded view of that picture. And if I double click on that, I can get a whole set of pictures of this church in there. You can see them. See, you look in the upper left-hand corner here, there's 20 pictures. Let's just run down through them quickly. Get inside views and outside photos as well, cemetery photos there. That really interested me because uh, I happen to know that my Viper lineage has a number of grave sites at the rear of this church. Let's see if it gives me some views of that, and it certainly does. Right there is the Viper Cemetery, some of their grave sites. And uh, there's another view of the church. And there's that cemetery here at the rear. So I can't see them up close to see their names, but at least uh, from this distance, it's really interesting to view them, which I otherwise would not be able to do because I can't go over there and, and tour it in person. So. That's the value of Street View on Google Earth. Remember, I'm going to, by the way, you can click out of this set of photos by doing the back arrow up here, the upper left-hand corner, and again, the upper left-hand corner to get you out, and now we're up here in the sky view again. So that's a little demo of uh, Street View on Google Earth. Remember, it's also available on Google Maps. Uh, the Street View operates similarly in uh, all those uh, different versions of Google Earth. So thank you for watching, and I'll say goodbye.